So check that out. There's an old miner's cabin right there at the base of the uh, of the hill. So let's go check that out. Well, here's an old miner's cabin. Uh, seen better days. The roof sagging there on the left, and over here on the right, they got a support timber down there, propping up part of the wall. But uh, what's unique about this cabin? Uh, oh, right here. Look, there's a a lizard. See him? Anyway, what's unique about this cabin is there's a mine tunnel inside of it right there, see? Uh, you got a wooden wooden door here and uh, some steps, wooden steps going down into the cabin. And uh, this may have not been a cabin, but this may have been a, uh, a lab for the mine. See all this shelving? I think this was uh, maybe an assay lab. But they built it right up against the mine portal, which I've never seen before. And um, let me get down in here and we'll check out, we'll check this all out. So they got a vent pipe in the ceiling there. It must have been a maybe a stove here or a heater or a kiln. And this is kind of unusual. There's a little square shaped chute. That's interesting. And uh, a center pole here holding everything up. There's the roof. Got some holes in it, especially on this side where it's caving in, but... And then here are the work tables, where, like I mentioned, they probably did a lot of assay work. And uh, there's a screen there. I'm not sure what that was for. Maybe there was a window there at one point. I don't know. If there was, it's all caved in. But yeah, so... Let's check out this tunnel. I see some pipes in there or something. And a big barrel right there at the entrance. Let's go check it out. So I have no idea how deep this is going to be, but I do see footprints down there where my light is. So people do go in here, probably with some frequency, because this mine is not very hard to get to. But... Um, let me get down here and take a look in. Oh, you know what? That might be it right there. A dead end. This might just be a prospect. Okay. Uh, I can't stand up in here. i got to pretty much be bent over at the waist. But, uh, yeah, I think this is a dead end. Yep. Not sure what this is right here, this big cylinder. Get some light back there. Let me zoom in. Yeah, it's just a prospect tunnel. That's as far as they went. Um, yeah, this this cylinder is. Uh, don't know what that would have been used for. But there's some piping in here. There's a small silver pipe. They must have had plans for this, but they gave up. Um, I can sort of stand up here. So there's looking back at the portal. So I was just standing here looking at the portal, and I happened to look up right above me, and you never guess what I saw. Here is a raise that goes up to the outside. I think there's a, I think I saw it on the hillside, a chimney, a metal stove pipe. So that might have been used for ventilation, but that just goes up to the hillside. Very interesting. Maybe somebody was living in here. This was part of the cabin. That's why, that's why they maybe built the cabin right in front of the portal. Maybe this was part of the, the living quarters. I don't know, but uh, whoever lived here hasn't lived here in a long time. And uh, it's, all, it's, it's all abandoned, but this barrel here is interesting. It's got some white stuff in it. And it's got a hole down there on the bottom of the barrel. 
Don't know what that would have been used for. But that's pretty much it. Lots of debris under these workbenches. Pipe fittings, plastic container, beer cans, pieces of rubber hose up on top. Some valve fittings. There's a valve. Cigarette box. A can of plastic plastic coat. Roof coating. And uh, there's a pipe hanging down from the ceiling. I don't know why. Maybe that was to hang hang tools on like they did right there with that hoop. But looks like a pretty enterprising little operation whenever it was in operation, but it ain't that way anymore. And uh, there's a final shot of the portal. So let's get out of here. Outside here, there's a foundation for another building maybe. So I don't know. Something was here at one point. But, like the rest of the desert, now it's nothing but desolation. So here's an old car just sitting out here near this abandoned mine, just rusting away. Check that out. I don't know what kind of car that is, or was, but... It's definitely old. I'd say 1940s. I don't know. Here's looking in through the windshield to the front seat. And uh, let me try and get a shot of the dashboard. And there's a shot of the dashboard. And then you have a back seat. Which is right there. And then a pretty spacious trunk here in the rear of the vehicle. I think that right there might have been part of the uh, trunk. Yeah. You're looking at the, what was the trunk. The lid of the trunk, which would have been right on there. And then over here, this is part of the car. I'm not very good with car parts. I don't know what that would be. What, a muffler? But somebody's been shooting at it. And then you got more springs, probably for the seats, which I think we're missing. So, yep, just an old car left out here in the desert. Makes you wonder who drove it here and why they left it, what happened, if it broke down or what. But we got a long hike to go. So let's get a move on. Okay, check out this cactus. You see that white fluffy stuff? That I guess might have been part of the cactus flower blooms. Well, make a note of that. Because we're going to see it later inside an abandoned mine. Put to good use. So over there is an abandoned mine. You can see the portal there. They drove it right into that vein you see right above the portal coming down the hillside there. And uh, that's how they did it. So here at the portal, I believe this is the vein they were following. Um, this light colored vein, it's about a foot and a half across right to there. And you can see it pretty uniform all the way up. And they dug the tunnel uh, right into it. So like I said, I'm not getting my hopes up on this one. Um, but you don't know until you actually check them out. So at least I can stand up in here pretty much upright. And I see a few footprints in here. So it's not totally um, 
off the beaten path. This right here, this plastic piping, I don't know if that was used for ventilation or something else, but uh, there's remnants of it here and there. Yeah, I think we're uh, approaching the end up here. Um, a lot of rock fall, uh, which isn't a good sign. But this, I think, is going to end right up here. Ah, here's some old bed springs. See these a lot in abandoned mines. Not a lot, but often. And I think someone told me that they might have used that to um, drag out the, uh, the blasted rock. So I don't know. I guess that would make sense. Ah, look at that. A little pack rat's nest. And yeah, I think there's a big pack rat's nest down here. And this is the end. Boy, a lot of rodent droppings in here too. So yeah, that's all she wrote. There's probably 10 or 15 pack rats watching me right now, but I can't see them. But anyway, that's the, uh, that's the mine tunnel. He's looking back towards the portal. So making our way back out to the portal, this was a short one. Just a little bit too long of a tunnel to be a prospect, but pretty darn near close. And you can see the timber here at the at the uh, portico or the at the uh, at the portal, the timbered arch. And that's it.